Dan, um, you're watching from there. Cooper's on the other side what? talking to his sources. He may be able to add to what you've said. Uh, Steve, let me call you guys in a minute. Okay, he's alive. Uh, he's alive. He's in custody and he's alive. They've asked for a medic for the scene. Okay, suspect okay. number two, alive. He's alive. A suspect in number custody. two. He's alive. He's in custody and they're asking for a medic for the scene, which means. Uh, they got that piece of shit. Loser. He's a loser, just like his uncle says. Yeah, loser. Loser. Wow. 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 That's a great news, Steve. And you wonder how Steve, we have any idea how they somebody's job must be negotiated. Okay. Okay, uh yeah, um just to let uh, just to recap um, from the scene. They're behind. Go back. Forget about it. Um, Forget about it. I would uh, go along with what uh, Dan was saying with that, uh, you know, light applause that he may have heard from his vantage point. Well, it's been a horrifying uh, week in Boston, uh, in the Commonwealth, the nation, the, the, the world actually has been watching what's happening here, this chain of events, and uh, really about the best uh, possible outcome tonight, the second suspect wanted yeah. in the marathon bombings, now alive, captured, in custody, and about to be attended by medics uh, there in Watertown. Yeah, we don't Hell know yeah. what his condition is right now, but Dan Housley, Dan, you're joining us with some uh, updated info as well, or confirmation of what Steve just said. That's right, State Police gave me a strong head shake when I asked you to live. A uh, senior officer telling me, yes, he is alive. And uh, it appears that they're not likely bringing him out uh, this direction. Uh, they appear to be Eddie's, and so I'm suggesting they're probably going out Birch um, or Franklin area right now. Um, but everybody is uh, standing down, satisfied. Uh, a few of the officers are taking pictures uh, uh, to commemorate the moment of this uh, successful end. Uh, and incredible to think when wow. uh, this city was uh, and, and cities surrounding it were shut down because the concerns and the danger and the worries about how this would end. And it ended um, with a whipper, not a bang. We had some bangs earlier, and it could have easily ended with more. Uh, but these officers, whatever they did, were able to bring at least the end of this to a, a peaceful conclusion. And that's uh, fantastic, Dan. And of course, uh, now, as you as you mentioned, the medic is arriving there at the boat to check the condition of 19-year-old Jahar Sanayev. And we're going to figure out exactly the extent of his injuries. Perhaps we'll get that information. But he, we know he is injured. But we he know he's a piece of shit. And Steve, Steve and Dan both uh, get